Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do a spider that you've not seen before today, and that is the Samopaeus Pulcher, or the Panama Blonde. Now this is a really, really pretty spider. Very, very pretty spider, and very underrated in my opinion. I think there should be a lot more of these guys around. They are really, really pretty. Now what's um, brought this we're going to do a rehouse and what's brought this around is the fact that she was paired back the 9th of the 7th 20 and she is at the moment got an egg sac which we are about to take away so she has been 11 months since pairing now she was cohabited with her male for i think it was a roughly a week and then she she did eat him um, I didn't actually think he was really up to the job. He seemed a bit past his prime when I got him. I think, uh, unfortunately, he wasn't quite as fresh as we were led to believe. So, um, yes, we will see whether this egg sac is any good. But we're also due a rehouse anyway, so we're going to move her over and we're going to set up, set her up in a new bioactive enclosure. So this is going to be... Um, the same as all of our, our other bioactive enclosures. We've got to start off with our clay ball. Spare no expense. Here we go. I don't mean many. It's only literally to put that fine layer in. Now, one of the things I've been asked an awful lot about with the clay balls and with the um, the matting that we use. Now this this is a cloth matting and it's a weed suppressant. So you can basically get it from any of your garden centers, anywhere like that, they all do it. But go for the cloth one. They do do a nylon one, which you don't want. Go for the cloth, it's nice and soft. It's not gonna get caught up with your tarantulas. If you get one that burrows down to it, it's not gonna cause it any problems. If you go for the nylon one, then you might have issues. So always make sure you go for the cloth one. And the same with the uh, the hydro balls or the clay balls. These are just um, the same balls that you'll find in your garden center that they put in the bottom of pots to allow irrigation through for plants. So there's nothing special about these, you know? I know um, sometimes you'll see them advertised, special reptile ones and amphibian ones. It's all the same stuff, guys. So just get the cheapest ones that you can find because as long as they're of a clay ball, there is no difference, yeah? Same with the matting. You don't need a fancy one, just need a cloth one. Right, so we'll plop that in there like so. And then we just add our substrate. Again, you will remember, this is just a box standard um, compost and again we go for the cheapest stuff we can find because generally speaking if it's cheap there's nothing in it it don't have to be anything fancy the only preferences I find is I like the fine stuff rather than the the coarse stuff but that's a personal preference All right. So we'll plop that in there like so. Then we're gonna, we've got our piece of cork bark here. Now these guys are quite showy. They will spend an, quite a fair amount of time outside. So they make quite a good display spider. And we're gonna put, now we've got our cork in, we're gonna add our beastie material, which you all know He's collected from the wild. So we just plonk that in there like so. Now this has got all of our springtails, isopods, there's everything in this. It also acts as a really nice food for our plants. Here we have, I'm not sure what this plant is actually called, but 
it's a very vigorous one once it gets going. So what we do is we just tease the roots a little bit, find out which is the best way round for it, and then that will go in there, like so. Keeping it nice and simple, guys. No need to overcomplicate this. Now we've got our moss. So this can go. What I'll do is work out our shape. So we can take that like that. So. Offer it out. I just love moss. There we go. Now that will help lock in all the moisture. So help our plant, stop our plant from drying out as well. Here we go. Nice and simple. Push that out of there. And there we have it. Now we've got our water dish. See the heat coming off of that? Watch your fingers, that's very, very hot. It's sticking to me more than it is the wood. There we go. That's in, yeah, that's in there, that's secure. That's all we need. As you can see there, that's a nice, simple, quick and easy setup. We'll just water our plant in, do a little bit to our moss. We don't need a lot, he's already damp. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Right, so now we can get rid of the bits that we don't need. And we can now move over to our spider. Now, as you can see here, hopefully you can see in the back there, and you can see her on her egg sack. Can you see that? It's very, very difficult. I hope we can get a bit of light in there. Come around this side. There she is. You can just about make her out. And you can see this amazing webbing that she's created here. Incredible. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down through the top and see if we can't get this out. It might be worth coming and having a look from the top. Now this is a, the Samuel Payas genius are a, a new world spider. Now these guys, when females can grow up to like six inches in size, now they don't, they don't possess urticating hairs, but they are very fast. They're quite skittish. 
So, um, if you're not used to dealing with skittish spiders, these can prove to be a little bit troublesome because they do tend to fly around a little bit. Now, they're not massively aggressive, but they will defend themselves. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this away here. As you can see, she's she's holding on to that. Actually, that sack is anchored into the, the web in here. That's quite interesting. I've not seen that before. That's very interesting. Now it looks like a nice sack. And as you can see, she's an absolutely wonderful looking spider. So we're gonna, we'll remove the egg sack first and then we'll catch her. As you can see there, she's, uh, she's keen to hold on to it. Yeah, we don't want to let go. Now she's dropped the sack. There we go, we've got it. Now as you can see, this is a typical threat pose from one of these guys. And she's quite she's quite full on there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to drop the bark back down here. Bearing in mind these are skittish. They can be a little bit fast. As you can see there now, what a beautiful spider. Absolutely stunning spider. And you, I don't know if you can see through the maybe if I turn it around so you can get on the level. You might just see her, her wonderful coloring. level there. And you'll see there she's a beautiful peachy colour. Absolutely stunning. And you'll see there she's got that dark black marking on the end of the abdomen which gives her a little bit of contrast. All right before she disappears we're gonna see if we can't get her in a catch cup. I don't think this girl's going to walk across. So, uh, leave that there. We can see now, see how she behaves. Now, because she's being more in the way of defensive, she's a little easier to, she's, it's making her be defensive rather than run away. I'm now going to bring her back into the bot. You notice how we use the tub to move her along. There she is. Isn't she gorgeous? Right. Now I'm going to see if we can't get some lovely close-ups. Okay, not stay in that pot. Isn't that beautiful? Such a lovely, fluffy looking spider. These quite often remind me of the Avix in their appearance. Absolutely stunning. All right, let's see if we can't get her to Move over nice and gently. You notice the, the threat posture has dropped off now. What we don't want is her to absolutely tear off. But we would like her to climb up the box. Come on, girl. She's actually webbing as she goes. Let's 
This is very different. Odd handed for me. All right, here we go. There we go. In the enclosure. And there she is. Now you can see now what a lovely display spider these make. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> when she's out on display. <laughs> and not hiding away. Now then. Shall we see whether we got babies or not? Because that is what everyone is interested in, I'm sure. Here's our sack. As we say, this has been 11 months coming. So I'm not actually sure if this is going to be any good. But she's been looking after it and it looks absolutely clean and lovely. Mm. I think this might just be eggs. Yeah, unfortunately, this doesn't appear to be any good. That's a shame. Well, there is some, it's a very messy one. We've got some there that look like they have something going on but yeah this doesn't look very hopeful i'm afraid we did have our doubts about our little male now this has been pulled at 30 days so we would really would have been expecting um a better condition in these it actually looks like some of them have gone bad and they're actually turning the rest of the sack bad so i think what we'll do is we'll um we'll empty them out and we'll have a little look through under the microscope and see if there's any any life going on in there at all but it doesn't look very good at the moment so um mm, a little disappointing but it just means we need to try again so we will have another go and uh hopefully Maybe we'll find a more virulent male. And maybe we can get it to drop a little earlier. This was an awful long time, 11 months. It's taken 11 months to get to this stage, which is a, quite some time. So, uh, yeah, a little disappointing, but that is the way it goes in the hobby. We can't always be successful. And uh, if this happens to you, don't let it get you down. Just pick up and try again. You will get there in the end. We will get there in the end. Right, well, back to our Panama Blonde here. She's, um, in terms of care, these are a spider that I would class as um, an intermediate spider. They're maybe not a spider for a straight out the door beginner because they can be pretty quick and they can be a little defensive. So, um, although as you've seen there, if we treat them right, we can avoid most of that. Now, uh, in terms of humidity and that, these guys like it around about 75, up to about 80% is fine. They're really, really good. Uh, they will appreciate this bioactive system. This will keep them just, just perfect. They'll love that. Uh, females get up to around about six inches. And as with most of these spiders, they'll, they'll live for sort of 12, 15 years if you look after them correctly. Now food wise, she has got a big appetite. So you have to be real careful not to overfeed them. Um, you'll see there that her abdomen was quite small there. And this is where she's been on the sack. She's not fed now for um, well, probably eight weeks or so now. So be a little bit careful when you're feeding. You don't want to overdo it. Apart from that, they're a very easy spider and a very pretty spider as well. So if you get the opportunity to get one of these and you feel like you, you fancy a little bit of a challenge, if you're fairly new, these guys are really, really cool, if not a little fast. So then... I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry we didn't have a little bit more good news, but um, this is the way it is. 
So, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spiders. I'll see you soon, guys.